Welcome to Decentralized News. Today we're looking at the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, Binance, which is a the brainchild of um, CZ, who's a developer who first raised uh, 15 million to start building a uh, crypto exchange back in 2017. And uh, for crypto traders, uh, Hong Kong based uh, Binance then at the time meant, you know, a highly competitive uh, platform that they could uh, play with in that region with high volumes and uh, great exchange rates. So uh, it also has Binance US, which is uh, serves US customers. And uh, it's pretty much the biggest centralized cryptocurrency in the world uh, by trading volume, web traffic, average liquidity and the amount of quality market pairings that are available they are the biggest so some of the positives of using binance i would say uh it's got a very tidy feature for those who enjoy DeFi and p2p trading as well and uh, they do have debit and credit card payment options for you know i think for 31 different cryptocurrencies and about 3.5 premium for usd purchases uh, wire transfers uh, allow people to also buy crypto directly using SEPA and bank transfers with zero transaction fees. They've got a good spot trading UI split into three levels of complexity. Basic view, you know, for novice traders, a classic interface uh, and also an advanced interface, which offers uh, margin trading futures and derivatives. They have uh, crypto lending savings, uh, interest earning accounts as well with Binance savings. They do crypto loans. They have Binance staking. They have uh, uh, mining pools. Uh, you know, they've got a crypto visa card, liquidity swaps. Uh, also some something that they deal with um, on uh, Binance uh, liquidity swap, which is a centralized equivalent of Uniswap offering liquidity pools for their users. They also have a uh, reserve fund, uh, which basically means that they can take 10% of our trading fees they charge and put it into a big insurance uh, pot. So in the event of uh, hacking, users can get compensated, uh, which was used back in 2019 when hackers stole 40 million worth of Bitcoin. It's one of the most friendly or user-friendly in uh, intuitive interfaces as well. It's available Android, iOS, but obviously, like any other exchange, there are some downsides to using a platform like uh, Binance. Sometimes um, support can be lagging, it's a big exchange. Uh, and also it can be a bit of a sophisticated exchange for uh, newbies. And uh, obviously it doesn't offer anything outside of cryptos. So no stocks, no commodities or Forex. And yeah, you know, um, people just don't like uh, what they consider too big to to fail type of uh, entities and Binance has become one of those, uh, although it only launched a few years ago, it's a mammoth in the crypto space and some people feel a little bit uncomfortable with that. But I think, you know, I, I, I've used Binance before. I think it's a pretty legit exchange. Um, check out also some information on trading fees and things like that on, on the rest of the review. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.